Hello, it's Eva, the business credit lady. I want to share with you a conversation. I just got the phone with a contractor. So I talk to business owners all day long and I hear a lot of things that they encounter that's so frustrating when they're on their journey to building business credit. So he said to me, I got my EIN number. I got my business checking account. I even got my entity set up. I was ready to go down and apply at Lowe's for, for my business credit account only to be asked for his social security number. So now he's like, how does this business, how am I supposed to get business credit if they deny me with my EIN only? So he's frustrated. If we don't have the direction, the blueprint or the guidance, it can get discouraging, frustrating. And you're just like, okay, I just, it's not going to work but there is a way I'm going to share. But let me share with you what this blank piece of paper has to do with exactly what happened to him. I want to share with you a quick example, how personal credit is kind of similar to business credit. Let's say we just turned, you just turned 18. You've got your first job. You are getting paid. Now we need a car to get to work every day. So we go down to the Dodge dealership. I want this Dodge charger. So you go apply for the, the car loan. They run your personal credit because we're just now establishing personal credit as an adult. And when they pull your personal credit report, this is what they find a blank page. So unfortunately they're going to deny you. Same thing with business credit. If we go to apply for one of the major store cards, like the contractor I was talking to, he went to Lowe's and he's just now starting on his business credit venture. Keep in mind, there are starter vendors that give us EIN only to get our foot in the door with business credit, but we can't jump to the major store cards because we have to have those starter vendors reporting on us. So he goes into Lowe's, he fills out the, uh, the credit application and gets either asked for the social or denied because when they pulled his business credit profile, this is what it looked like. This is basically what the business credit profile looked like for this contractor. Nothing on Dunham Brass Street, nothing on Experian and nothing on Equifax. Now we know one of the underwriting criteria for Lowe's is they have to have a paydex score with Dun & Bradstreet of 80 or above. So a blank slate is gonna get you denied. So then maybe you go through the email series, you meet me, we're starting to guide you through your business credit journey. Now you've got some vendors and you, you've got uh, approved with some vendors and maybe now the business credit report looks like this. So now we start applying with vendors and we got some approvals and we're starting to build our business credit profile. We got an, a score here on Experian. This is positive. This is a good thing. So now you're excited and you're happy. I got vendor credit. I got approved. You know, you have a credit score here, but you don't know who it is yet or what business credit agency it is that reported you. So we run back down to Lowe's because we got approved from our vendor and we go apply again only to be Dun, dun, dun. Ask for your social or denied again. So wait a minute. Well, I just got to put with these vendors. I, I'm ready for, for my major store card. But we forget we have to be patient. One of the underwriting criteria for major store cards is a paydex score with Dun & Bradstreet that's 80 or above. So this is the letter that we get when we try to go a little bit too premature to one of the major store cards. Let me show you what the letter looks like from Lowe's. So this is what the letter looks like when we go to a major store card and we get denied or get asked for our social. We, that it says insufficient credit from trade references, which are our starter vendors that are going to give us the net terms up front. You know, man, you may be thinking, well, I, I have, I, I have accounts with my vendors that are, I'm on net terms with, and that is great because you're getting what you need on net terms and get to pay them later. But it's a very small percentage of companies that report you to the business credit agencies. And unless you have someone, on, you know, giving you the, that roadmap of exactly who to go to, that's going to report you, you're really going at it blindly. So what we want is our business credit report to look healthy and like, it's not a baby anymore. We want to raise it up to look like a full business credit report. Okay, so now we've taken the time to allow 30 to 60 days to go by to let a few vendors report us to Dun & Bradstreet and we have our PIDX score of 80. Now we know because the team guides you to let you know what the approval criteria is, we're ready to go to apply at Lowe's. And this is what our approval looks like. So 
this is a, was a business owner shared with us that got their Lowe's account. They asked for 5,000, but was approved for 3,500. No complaints because once you get your vendor accounts or your major store accounts and you ordered for them for a few months, you can always ask for a credit line increase, just like in the personal credit world, right? So this is exciting. We got Lowe's, but I really want Home Depot. So I'm gonna go run out and I'm gonna get my Home Depot card now, but I got my Lowe's. Hold on, pump your brakes. Little do we know, Home Depot does require a little bit more as far as the underwriting criteria. Not only do they want you to have a good pay deck score, but they want you to have an Experian credit score as well. So you continue to order from your vendors, continue to build up that business credit profile, and this is what Home Depot wants to see. So this is what Home Depot wants to see. They want to see a pay deck score of 80 or above with Dun & Bradstreet and an Experian positive business credit score. So now these, this is um, two of the main criteria with Home Depot. Of course, there's more guidelines that they require, but this is one of the most important ones. So now the team is going to direct you on what the rest of the underwriting criteria and guidelines are, but it will only be available to you when we know you meet underwriting criteria and guidelines. So we know you can go EIN only. And this is what your Home Depot approval looks like. Here is an example of an approval for a Home Depot commercial account. So this business owner actually had two different accounts, $25,000 a piece, total of $50,000. He worked very hard establishing his business credit profile to get these limits approved. Now, the examples I shared with you today were just a couple that I wanted to share with you. We have plenty more that would be available to you because maybe you're thinking, well, I don't want Lowe's or maybe I don't want Home Depot. It's okay. There's other vendors, other major store cars that you would have access to. Eventually, we we build up the cash flow and the business credit profile and business credit scores to where we can get vehicle financing, EIN only, and it happens. I'm going to share with you a couple exa um, an example of a vehicle that some business owners got approved for, but we want to make sure that our business credit profile does not look like this. We have to raise that business credit from being an infant to an adult, just like this. So to get more details and just uh, just educated on what business credit's all about, go ahead and click on that little link, opt into our email series, and you'll have access to my calendar if you wanna have a chat with me, and I'll see you on the other side.